pump that king back. Attack, attack. Um, good. Taka, taka, taka. I think that like puppies like, get cured from cancer from a move like this. So you are playing black in this position. Let's see what we have. Alrighty, E5, something I'm familiar with. E4 supremacy. We are in E4, or sorry, E4. We are in E4 supremacy chat over here. Um, so Sicilian, this is something that I've been looking into or I'm going to be looking into. There comes a time in every young chess player's life where you debate whether you want to learn the Sicilian. And then you hear that all the big boys are playing the Nidorf, and then you go and you tell your coach, it's like, hey, I want to go learn the Nidorf. And then your coach is just like, you're not going to learn the Nidorf. You're going to learn, you're going to learn, you're going to learn, you're going to learn this line of the Sicilian that I tell you, you're not going to throw a fit. So friends don't let their smaller friends or their new friends learn the night orf. Um, okay, playing the old Sicilian, it looks like. No, wait, this is the Alpine. Um, so Kelly, weren't we just talking about this? We were talking about this in la in um in lessons yesterday, actually, how Chili hates the Alpine. Um, so old Sicilian goaded. Yeah, the old the dragon, um, those are very friendly lines, but Again, friends don't let just like friends don't let friends play the French defense. Friends don't let friends play the night orf unless you're like Hans or Magnus and you're like a professional. So, uh, old Sicilian is the classical or the best. So, yeah, yeah. Maybe we should do like a Sicilian tier list. That'd be premium chess content. Here's a 900 ELO player talking about a uh, opening that he's never learned <laughs> or a repertoire that he's never learned. Okay, crushing it, keeping that pawn open. I love a good pawn push. I love constricting the the play area just a little bit. We love to see it. Um, I was looking at this, but I mean, it's the opening. You don't want to move. This like counteracts a lot of principles. Um, one, it's the opening. So you don't want to move one piece more than once. Two, night on the rim is dim. We've been known that since like day one of chess club um, or chess camp. But like, this is so tempting. The bishop is just sitting there. He's not going to like bark away like if he barks away then you just pick up a pawn like this is a very advantageous fork and if he drops here then you can still get some counterplay push this no don't push that because then he just takes but yeah then then he takes and then like this bishop is i mean he's not locked out because he can come over here i'm emotionally conflicted but like every once in a while you get a little flare in your head it's like this move just looks so tasty for some reason i want to explore that but good on you for playing principal chess i wouldn't do it because i'm a mad lad but anyway sticking to the principles good habits don't say as i do don't do as i say do as i do uh, or don't do as I do, do as I say, you know, keep in principled. Um, watch the whole right side of the board. Okay. So we've got some action over here on the queen side from what I understand. So this is going to get very cluttered very quickly, I feel like. Um, here we go. Bishop out, or pawn out. Okay. That works. Knight out. This is, this is getting very convoluted very quickly. I can see what you're saying. Um... The exact opposite, actually. Oh, now, now you, my interest was piqued, but now you have my full attention. Okay, knight comes out to defend. This is hanging. Uh, good, protects it. So I've uh, I've been practicing my hanging pieces and making sure that I visualize when pieces are hanging. Okay, doubles up. Um, no, I wouldn't take in this position because this is a big old forkaroni. This knight isn't going anywhere. Um. So good. Keep the tension here. We love to see it. Um, that is even more tension. That is very attacking. That is a very um very aggressive move. You are opening up your king side, your king diagonal a little bit here, but thankfully this bishop is cut off and this light square bishop. This isn't just a bad bishop. This is a bishop that like has ankle sores. So this bishop is not running any 5Ks anytime soon. Like this bishop has just like big old bunions on its feet. And the bunions come in the form of the C4 and the A4 pawn. This bishop is not doing the turkey trot this year. He's stuck because he's got big old bunions on his feet. So you don't really have to worry about this diagonal. I mean, you do because the queen can come out, but this queen is very much under attack. So this is a very good move. This is very aggressive, very, very much an attacking position. I like what I see here. Take that knight. Yeah, get it. Get it, son. Trade off that rook. Yeah, son. Let's go. Alrighty. 
this is my kind of game. This is how I like to play chess. Um, very aggressive, very aggressive. Keeping it on, keeping it on. Uh-huh, we saw that. We talked about that in a little bit, but just pump that king back. He's good to go. This queen doesn't have any follow-up. What is the... Do you think this this bishop's gonna, like, help out? This bishop's like, nah, fam, I'm stuck at home. I'm gonna, like, put, like, icy hot on my feet so I can get rid of these bunions sitting right here. So this queen battery, this is, like... This is a fever dream for these two pieces. Like, this is... This is star-crossed lovers right here. This is never gonna happen. Um, So good. Pump that king back. Attack. Attack. Um, good. Taka, taka, taka. There are few things in this world that make me more happy than this. When you guys hit a discovered attack into a queen capture, I think that, like, puppies like, get cured from cancer from a move like this like when you played this move 17 puppies just got freed of puppy cancer like they are cancer no more this queen is going bye bye um this is beauty this is art so take that queen there you go and then the the doggies are writing you a thank you note because the puppies no longer have cancer we're lining up this battery good stuff I miss mate in one because of pre-moves. Oh, that's it doesn't matter, dude. You got like a queen capture with a discovered attack. You cured 17 puppies of cancer at this point. Um, you've done your debt to society. If you miss mate in one, if that's the worst thing that happened this game, that is all right. Let's get some claps for Mordor in the chat. And mate. GG's. Well played, sir. Um, again, like I said, I just want to reiterate that this is beautiful. Um this is again very good job choking this off you didn't make this this went from a bad bishop to a bishop with like bunions on its feet like i said this bishop is running nowhere so good on you for controlling that um and then this is just beautiful like <clears throat> like i said puppies cured from cancer cancer no more and then it was lights out ggs all his pieces of trap. Love this game. Felt bad though. Immortal game. This is Mordor's immortal. Mordor's immortal game. Mordor immortal. This is a Mordor immortal game right here. So GG's. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks for sharing. Cool. So thank you for the content. Thank you for the Drew review. I hope you enjoyed. For this game, I will award you the title of honorary puppy oncologist because <clears throat> you, like I said, when you hit that beautiful, beautiful queen queen capture with the discovered attack you cured 17 probably close to 17 or 19 puppies of cancer it's just a fact like that happens when you play chess and you like hit a move like that puppies no longer have cancer so you have the title of honorary pu puppy oncologist for this game well played gp's mortal <laughs>